The news at nine. Now, rumours have surfaced about a possible split in the newly formed party of former ANC MP and the founder of the African Democratic Change. Now, reports suggest that there are members of the party who are threatening to resign and are allegedly demanding that Makosi Koza incorporate some members into the party leadership. Now, joining us uh, from our Durban offices is Makosi Koza. Thank you very much for joining us uh, this evening, Makosa. Thanks for your time. Now, what seems to be reports that suggest there is discontent in your party which could lead to a possible split? Is this true? Well, that is not true. What we are going through as a party is that uh, we are going through a refinement process. We have now uh, finalized our model of change since we are called African Democratic Change. And obviously there are those that do not meet the high moral um, and ethical leadership test that we have as ADEC. And those people unfortunately would not make it into the leadership of ADEC. And again, we have a new concept that we call politics unusual, mm. where we are saying we wanted to uh, close the gap between civil society and the state power. And those that are only there for themselves and not for the people of South Africa are actually being defined out by this process. And in that case, we have, I mean, well-known political bullies and entrepreneurs, yes. uh, such as Mpo and Lufuno Korokoro. So those people, obviously, they don't belong to ADEC. They are not members what? of ADEC. They were not admitted as members of ADEC. What I'm interested to know, uh, Mekosa, what immoral tendencies are you saying that some of these have displayed given that you're saying they are now not allowed to be part because the accusation is also that you want to uh, basically suggest who should make up the leadership of your party without consultation from others no that's not what it is you see if you are a leader you have to be a visionary and if you are a leader standing on a moral and ethical platform, you have to be clear about that. And you are not going to allow people that clearly display um, interest only in positions. For example, how do these people go and do elections before we can even finalize the constitution? First of all, we needed to have the model for change. What sort of model for change do we have? Secondly, you then go, that then informs what goes into the constitution. Mm. But clearly, they want to elect the leadership before you finalize the model for change and before you have a constitution. Now, how do you elect before, before you have a constitution? Is, is that it the immoral tendencies that Therefore, you are speaking you about? Therefore, don't, you are not... You are not aligned. No, besides that, we have members, especially um, Paul and Lufuno, one of the contestations we've worked with them, they opened an account of, of, at, at one of the banks without the knowledge of myself, even as a leader of this party. And we don't know where, what they are doing with that money. And secondly, they also did something that we do not accept, and that is to go into provinces establishing structures before we could finalize the model. And uh, we Mekosa, are not, unfortunately, before we run out of time, time, before we run out of time, Mekosa, uh, what you are suggesting seems to be something illegal that has been done by these individuals. Do you plan as a party to uh, formulate or try to get any charges formulated against these individuals? And secondly, this might be come as, as, as a cause for concern, given that we're going into voter registration weekend, and perhaps those who have uh, faith in you and your party might uh, perhaps perhaps think otherwise now, given the internal ruffling? No, absolutely. We are intolerant. Whether, whether it's Jacob Zuma who is committing pro-corruption or Didi Mabuza or somebody who has aligned ourselves when we were formed, 
we are not going to tolerate that and we are investigating those matters and we are going to take the necessary steps and fortunately for us they were not yet members of ADEC. As you know ADEC is not necessarily a political party. We are a civil society movement and we were established by organizations such as Forum for Service Delivery, United Front of mm. Civics and so forth. So it's very important for us to identify those problems when they come up. And, and the good thing is that they were not yet admitted as full members of ADEC. But will you be uh, instituting or ensuring that there are charges laid against these individuals? Because what you are suggesting certainly seems to be criminal. Opening up a bank account, as you say, without knowledge of other members of your formation. Obviously, we are going to be following up the processes. At this stage, we are gathering in all the evidence because uh, we, you must remember that we are also, as ADEC, we are not uh, just a political party. We are also registered as a non-profit making organization. Mm. So when other people are opening bank accounts and do those things without our knowledge, we do have a problem and we will be following whatever legal steps that have to be followed. Well, unfortunately, that's where we'll have to leave it uh, here on the News at Nine. Thank you very much uh, joining us from our Durban studios there, Makosi Koza, just uh, outlining and giving some clarity to what has been reported of possible, uh, possible split within her political party formation. Well, that's it from the News at Nine. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Chris Alda Lewis. The special assignment is up next. Enjoy your evening and have a good weekend again. And your weather is also up next.